Two 15-year-old students shot to death at Marshall County High School in Kentucky are the latest victims of gun violence in a long line of shootings that have played out at schools across the country. One of the earliest incidents in recent history took place in 1966 at the University of Texas in Austin, where a gunman positioned himself on the observation deck of the UT Tower and took aim at people below. He killed 14 and injured 31 others until police were able to locate him and shoot him to death. Two teenagers went on a shooting spree at Columbine High School in Colorado in April 1999. They killed 13 people before taking their own lives, but they left 24 others injured and a nation devastated. In March 2005, a 16-year-old stole police weapons from his grandfather and went to Red Lake Senior High School in Minnesota, where he killed seven people and wounded five others before taking his own life. The deadliest U.S. school shooting in modern history took place at the Virginia Tech campus in April 2007, when a student killed 32 people and injured 17 others. He also shot himself to death. In April of 2012, a gunman stood up during a class at Oikos University, a Korean Christian school in California, and ordered people up against a wall, according to witnesses. He killed seven people and fled the campus, but was apprehended at a supermarket. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. And in December of that year, a gunman killed his own mother and then took his weapons to Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut, where he killed 20 children, six adults, and also himself. Many other deadly shootings have been carried out in the U.S. at schools and other gatherings throughout the years, leaving many wondering how to stop the next one. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.